New York Times bestselling author Dayton Ward is best known for his novels set in the Star Trek universe, including A Time to Harvest, Drastic Measures, Hearts and Minds, and the Vanguard and Seekers series. He has also written novels based on 24, The 4400, and Mars Attacks, as well as original fiction. Is there a difference in creating characters for the two genres? There are still, you know, rules even when you're creating your own thing. You're developing the rules of whatever universe you've developed or whatever, whatever setting you, you've created. So you have to work within those rules that you've established. To me, it's the same thing. It's just somebody else made the rules. They're not necessarily, one's not necessarily easier than the other. They're, they are their own challenges. For Star Trek, the world and the technology and the, and the backstories are largely done for you already. So the challenge is to come up with a story that's entertaining and and inspiring within that framework. Whereas in the original, I have to make up all that other stuff and then do all the other things I want to do. But there is a different kind of challenge. I don't think one is worse or better than the other. We try to bend them as far as we can without actually breaking them. We, we, we try to test them. That's how, I, that's how we tend to observe it. So we're not, we don't want to violate the rules and we don't want to break the rules. We, we are guardians of this to a degree. So we're not looking to, to disrespect it. We're just looking for the gray spots where we can kind of push the envelope. I'm using every bad metaphor in the book here but we want to push the envelope as far as we can without breaking anything. The bend but don't break approach has proven to be popular with fans. Most fans like to see the mold broken a little bit, but again, we know where the lines are. We're not gonna, we're not gonna step too far outside the lines just because it's Star Trek. And there are certain things you can't do with Star Trek. Um, they, for the most part, they liked it because we were free from a lot of the things we would be able to do if we were working with the, the screen characters. We can do things, we can put our new characters through a lot of paces that the other characters can't do. I mean, we can kill them off, we can do... I know that's a popular one, but that seems to be the one that resonates with fans a lot. You can kill the captain of a starship. Uh, in fact, we did that with the first Vanguard novel we wrote. Um, Dave had set up three different starships. One was crewed by a female captain, and that ship got destroyed. And so Kevin and I came along to write our second book, and we said, we, we want a female captain for the ship that we're going to focus on in our book. So we killed off that guy's cap, that ship's captain, and promoted the first officer, who was a woman, to the captaincy. Because we wanted to do a different take on things. So it's just, we can do that with those characters. You can't kill Picard as much as it might be tempting to do on occasion. Ward was a Marine and a software developer and then became a full-time writer in 2014. I write full-time right now. So I try to treat it like a work day for the most part. Um, I will write, and, and a lot of that is, is, is dictated by my schedule with my children. And summer is a little more fluid than during the school year. Um, but when, they're, when they are in school, I get up, I put them through their morning routine, I get them on the bus, and then I write all day, and then they come home from school, and I've got after school activities, and we have to do all that. And then I go back to writing if I'm on a roll, you know, sometime after they go to bed. But by the time they get done with school and homework and extracurricular activities, it might be 9 or 10 o'clock before I get back to it. And then I'll work until 1 or 2 in the morning. Ward's schedule doesn't change, even if he develops what some people call writer's block. I don't know I get writer's block, I get writer wants to do anything else besides sit here and write. Like writer wants to watch Deadliest Catch, writer wants to go to the movies, writer wants to go to the pool, right? you know, that's, that's what I get. I don't get true writer's block. I, I, I find that to be a, uh, an excuse to just not do the work. Uh, but there are days when I just don't want to do the work, and so I just fess up and say I don't feel like working. It's not writer's block, it's just writer's laziness. <laughs> I got bills to pay and it's not waiting on my muse. My muse is a, is a contract and a deadline and the check that comes with it. So that's how I, uh, I know that sounds kind of mercenary, but uh, you know, I just, I don't have time anymore for that. It was fun to, to let your muse play, but when there's bills to pay and kids to feed, yeah, you get motivated real quick. Baltimore County Public Library met up with Ward at the Shore Leaf Convention in Hunt Valley. The annual gathering celebrates all aspects of science fiction and details on the next con can be found on their website shore-leave.com. One of the aspects of the Shore Leave Con is workshops for aspiring writers. And Ward has this advice for those who want to become professional writers. Read everything that you can get your hands on. I mean, read outside your comfort zone, read things that make you mad, read, you know, stay on top of current events, read outside your chosen genre, uh, just have a well-rounded reading palette. I mean, I read fiction, nonfiction, history, current events, uh, biographies, and then for fun I read mysteries and thrillers and science fiction, but uh, read is the big one. You can't, and live, by the way, you know, have a life. Go outside and do things and, and go interact, go, go travel, go meet people. What are you gonna write about? You know, if you've never been anywhere or done anything. What, if I wanna write, if I wanna read about boring lives, I'll write about my own. So I, uh, that's what I tell people, live your life and read. <laughs>